Zeller sump pumps utilize sophisticated float switch mechanisms to automatically control water removal from your basement or crawl space. Zweller manufactures four distinct types of mechanical float switches, each designed for specific applications and performance requirements. The enhanced vertical snap action float switch stands out as the most dependable option, having been rigorously tested to 3 million pumping cycles. The float switch mechanism controls the pump's activation and deactivation levels. As water rises, the float triggers the pump to turn on. When water recedes, the float signals the pump to shut off. Proper installation and regular maintenance are essential for optimal performance and longevity of your sump pump system. For effective operation and flood prevention, the float should be positioned at least six inches below the floor surface. This ensures adequate activation space and prevents water from reaching critical levels. The adjustability of your Zoiler sump pump float depends entirely on which type of pump you have. Different pump designs require different adjustment approaches for optimal performance. Tethered floats offer the most flexibility for adjustment. The float is connected to the pump by a flexible tether or cord that can be lengthened or shortened. Vertical rod floats have the float mounted on a rigid rod. These can be adjusted by changing the float's position along the rod. For tethered floats, adjusting the tether length changes the water level at which the pump activates. A longer tether means water must rise higher before the pump turns on. With a shorter tether, the pump activates at a lower water level, providing earlier protection against flooding. A longer tether delays pump activation until water reaches a higher level. This reduces pump cycling, but allows more water accumulation. For vertical rod floats, Adjust the float's position on the rod to change activation levels. Moving the float lower on the rod means earlier pump activation. Moving the float higher on the rod delays activation, allowing water levels to rise more before the pump engages. Remember these key guidelines. Submersible vertical floats typically should be left as installed, while pedestal types may need some adjustment for optimal performance. Always position the float at least six inches below the floor surface to ensure effective operation and prevent flooding. Regular servicing of the float, along with other components like the check valve and impeller, can extend your pump's lifespan from the typical seven to 10 years to much longer with proper care.